Yeah, it was. It was a win we really, really needed. Um, back and forth game. Uh, Evansville, really good team. You know, they come in the game one four in a row. Um, you know, when number 13 is out there, they're a different team. Coming into today, they were 14 and two with him in the lineup. That's something we told our team over the last couple of days. We said, hey, th this isn't the same team we played last year. It ain't even the same team we played, you know, a month or, or ago or whenever it was. This is a really good basketball team. They beat Bradley. They beat Illinois State. So we knew what they were capable of, and we knew we were going to have to play 40 minutes. Um, and that's what we needed, exactly 40 minutes, literally, ball in air as, as the buzzer expires. So. At what point, I mean, maybe did it ever kind of creep into your head again, okay, here we go again, we had a lead, we're starting to give it up again, and, it, it, and deja vu all over the place. There, there, there's no, you know, secret. It is what it is. We know we've struggled in those games, um, you know, in close games, down the stretch games, for whatever reason. Um, everybody in our program knows that. Um, but you have to get one to get over the hump, no matter how you get it, at the buzzer, by four, by six, with free throws. You know, um, fortunately, they missed a couple to keep us alive. And Jacoby Wood, it's like I to just told somebody, he was the last guy in the gym last night shooting that same shot. Uh, uh, so he definitely deserved to make it, and obviously we're glad he did. There hasn't been a lot of emotions like that that we've seen this year from the team. What can that do, maybe giving you a boost over the next couple of weeks? Yeah, I think it gives you confidence, right? Um, because at the end of the day, you're not going to win every game by 20 or 25 or double figures. You have to be able to win close games down the stretch, grinders in this league, and, and that win should hopefully give us confidence moving forward and hopefully carry us to some more wins down the stretch. Just from my experience of watching teams over the years, there's a lot of teams that they've gone through what you guys have gone through this year. They were mailed in. Why have y'all been? Yeah, I think that's a credit to Steve. You know, he comes in positive every day. Win, lose, win big, lose a close one, he's positive. All right, how can we have a great practice today? How can we have a great shoot around today? How can we go out and, and prepare to win the next game? You know, so it starts from the top down. He's done a great job creating that belief in our team that, man, if you really look at our losses, whether you talk about the Southern Illinois loss, the Illinois State loss, even at Bradley, we have a chance to win the game. Late in the game at Belmont, we have a chance to win the game. So, yeah, the results aren't there that we want, but we're right there, and that's his message to the team each and every day. So. We had not. I think I think we were like 0-9 in games decided by five or less. So when the game got to five or less, we're thinking, man, we got them right where we want them. <laughs> you know, you know, jokingly. But um, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's like I said, whether it's down the stretch, whether it's the Missouri Valley Tournament, you got to win a close one at some point. You just got to. And you just got to find a way. And, you know, good teams find a way to win, you know, and we found a way tonight. Coach, like you said earlier, when number 13 is on the score for Evansville, they're a different team. Yep. But you still held them to 14 points, still double digits, but yeah. down and only two assists. Yeah, I thought we did a really good job of, of – on him in the first half outside of the first play of the game. We wanted to switch some things off, especially one through four. First possession of the game, we don't switch properly. He bangs a three. He had three points in the first half. Second half, we lost him at times, and he's too good of a player. So he had 11 in the second half. He, he, he really got going. We messed up some switches. We didn't get to him on closeouts. He was able to use his size and back some of our smaller guards down. So we didn't do a great job on him in the second half. Um, but he's a really good player. He's going to find a way to score. What did you do after the shot went in? Man, <laughs> I, don't, I was excited, obviously. I was excited. Um, you know, there's there's a rush of emotion. I was really happy for Jacoby, really happy for our guys, obviously happy for Coach Prome in this program. So um, it was a great team win. Like Rob said, you have four guys in double figures. You know, Nick Ellington played really well. Obviously, he's important for us inside. Um, you know, I thought Rob, I told Rob about midway through the second half, 
keep getting downhill. You know, he did a better job, I thought, of not settling, get to the rim. You know, obviously that's something Quincy's good at, and Quincy made five threes. And then Jacoby, he just controlled the whole game, played all 40 minutes, had five assists, and then throws in the game winner. So, um, obviously, he's imperative to our success. Uh, Brian was out today. Yep. We saw uh, Malik get hurt as well. Yep. Yeah, day to day, as far as I know, um, you know, I think Malik tweaked something where he couldn't go back in the second half. Brian is a kind of day to day thing, uh, depending on his pain tolerance. So hopefully we can get those guys back in the fold soon. Guys in the mix for you guys. Yep. How has it been to see him kind of get back to his own in the lineup? It's good, you know, because I know the work Rob puts in. He's had a really good five-year career. Obviously, uh, a majority of that five-year career, he, he has been the leading scorer on his team. Um, you know, right now his scoring numbers are down, but I think he's doing a really good job getting others involved. Um, you know, um, having four assists tonight. I thought he passed the ball really well, especially in the second half at Belmont the other night. And like he said up here, He'll, 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 he 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 kind of is okay with deferring. He, you know, he may tell Coach Prom, "Hey, Quincy's got the hot hand. Let's run something for him." So he's done a good job in that department too, and, and really just wants to see us win. Then looking at Quincy, twenty points, eight rebounds. He's had a really good season so far. Yep. Definitely a step up from last year. No question. Yeah, great kid. Number one um, has put in a lot of time. A uh, really good three-point shooter, um, can get downhill. And then I've probably been more impressed with Quincy and his growth on the defensive end. He's really step, stepped up and taken on a lot of challenges to guard the opponent's best perimeter player. Um, a lot of times those are things we talk about going into the game with him. And, um, you know, you know, he was on 13 for the most part um, tonight as, as the primary defender. Um, but it, but he does a good job just keeping guys out of the paint, guarding the ball, cutting guys off, using his physicality. He's had some big charges for us this year. And then, like you said, the rebounding. He has six defensive rebounds. That's huge for us from a guard, stop, guard spot.